Um, let's do a quick. At Citrus County's Lakanto Middle School, Miss Carol Nicholas's eighth grade class studies American history. They also honor modern day American heroes. At the start of each school year, yes. she invites veterans to talk to the students. Try to get my kids to have a feel for where we've come from and who's brought us to where we've come from and have a love for them. The Wounded Warrior Families. And then she heard of an organization in Nebraska called Wounded Warriors that makes special parking place signs honoring Purple Heart vets. But I thought, what a wonderful tribute to our combat wounded veterans, and it would be so nice to have my students involved in it. So she contacted them. The wounded veterans said that the signs were actually for free, and we just had to pay for shipping. And I found a donor that paid for the shipping of at least 100 signs in Citrus County. Well, since their arrival, 42 of the signs have been installed, including this one at the school. All of Carroll's students have been enthusiastically involved. They even did a presentation to the Board of County Commissioners. Two students, 14-year-olds Eric and Tiffany, summed it up this way. Something kind of important, just like you have the handicap signs and the wounded veteran signs. It's the least we can do to honor them for all the sacrifices they made for us. For Carol, the dream is to keep this honor to combat wounded veterans going on and on, not only in Citrus County or even Florida, but throughout the USA. Oh, and if you call her a hero, like all my teachers did to me years ago, she is quick to correct. No. <laughs> no. The veterans are the heroes, not me. With Nines Everyday Heroes, I'm Bill Murphy.